Hey y'all, and welcome to the Looking Glass Tarot and to Carter Cards of the Day. I do hope this finds you well. And as always, this is a timeless reading. It is a general reading for the collective. And you may see it a day from now, three days from now, weeks from now, a year from now, months from now. You will see it though when you are meant to. Okay, so let's get into the reading today and see what Spirit has for the collective. Temperance. So we are starting with balance and having balance within ourselves and having confidence within ourselves. Um, temperance can be here for a lot of different reasons. It can be here for family, it can be here for home, family and home, it can be here for work and just life in general. Um, but it is about balance. It's about balancing everything out. Um, and I feel like with it here, it's it's more like balance within the self, within yourself. Like you're trying to balance out maybe your feelings on one thing or the other, like one situation or the other. But you see the sun is coming up behind you. So there is new things coming. There is a new beginning coming. There's a new morning coming. You know, you got flowers are blooming and the sun's out. And everything looks green so there is always a brighter side to everything so you're just gonna have to look you know look within reach within and find that balance that is good for you um, and not always from for around us the people around us we we like to balance everything out so that the people around us are happy too but sometimes we can't do that sometimes we have to balance out things within us so you see how the, the triangle is right there on her heart, right beside her heart and right between her throat and her heart. It's like, use your intuition. Use that, listen to that. Use that intuition. When it is telling you something, listen to it. It will always keep you in a balance. It, you know, the, it may tell you something that you really don't like or don't want to do or it's not really what you want to hear, but your intuition will always guide you in that right direction. So listen to that part of you, listen to that intuition, and it will help balance you out. Um, and just, you see how the reflection is with the owl? Look within yourself. Sometimes you have to look in the mirror and say, and look at yourself and, and just really look at yourself and face yourself Sometimes you have to look in the mirror and face yourself. I know that sounds weird, but you have to look in the mirror and face yourself. And sometimes that brings you into realizing, you know, just look at yourself. Look at your face. Just look how sad you are or how happy you are. Or look at your expression. Say something or think something. And your expressions usually show you how you feel. But if you are not looking at yourself when you make that expression, you can't see it. So look in the mirror and talk to yourself and see the expression on your face and you will know really then with your intuition what you need to do and how you really feel about something. Why is temperance here? The world. So this is, a, this is a balancing out your world. This is about balancing out your life, your world, your everything. And you see the owls on top of the world. This is your everything. This is your life. This is how you live. This is what's going to send you into your new beginnings. This is what's going to take, you know, even out your stress and, and make you um, work harder and maybe work and look at things a little differently. Um, with the world being here, it's like this is your everything. Um, and you see the owls on top of the world. So he's in control of, of where he's at. He's in control. He's balanced. He's on top of the world. He's in control of where he's at. So I feel like that's what another reason the world card is here. It's telling you you're in control of it. You just have to learn a balance that you need. Because you see how he's evenly balanced in the middle of that world card. So it's like find your balance. Find where your balance is in your world. And how you live and how you do things because the world is about having everything so you have everything there at your fingertips you just need to find your balance your own balance within give us one more card give us one. there we go 
So this is new starts, new beginnings. The fool, jump right in there. So see, I told you that earlier with the sun coming out, there's a new start, a new beginning. Everything's blooming. You got everything new. So here's your new beginning. Here's your new start. Yes, you're going to be inexperienced at it. Yes, it's something new. Yes, it's a direction you've never been. It's like you're taking everything you got and jumping right in. And that's okay. You know, sometimes you have to do that. Use excitement, because the full card is about being excited about jumping into something. He's got all this stuff, and he's just getting ready to jump off that little limb, and he is going to jump into whatever is down there, and he is going to take it on. So just use that. Use that challenge, enthusiasm, because the fool is, a, is usually a younger person that's jumping into something new, but it doesn't necessarily have to be a younger person. It could be an inexperienced person. So take that inexperience, take that creativity, that excitement, and just jump into your new beginning. And everything is a mystery, you know, when we first start out. You're never going to know what's going to happen, but with the fool card here, it's like go for it. It's time for you to go for it and take that leap. Literally, take that leap and jump into your new beginning and find the balance for you that's in your world, that balances your world out. Not other people's world, yours. That was pretty quick. Let's try that again. That was more than one card. There we go. Is that more than one card? Okay, there we go. That's more than one card, too. Let's try one more time. Well, we keep getting two cards, so I guess we're going to go with that. The first card we got is gentleness. Be kind to yourself and others. Honor your gentleness. Speak words of love. So there you go. Be kind to yourself. Learn that balance within yourself. That's part of being kind to yourself, listening to your intuition. You know, find what's best, find the balance that's good for you. This is about you, self healing and you. So find that self balance and you can heal. And as you're healing, you know, be the words you speak and the things you put out into the universe, kindness, that comes back to you. So only put out there what you want to come back kindness and good karma and good things. Put that out there because that's what comes back to you. And nobody wants bad karma coming back. The other card was imagination. Envision a new reality. Give yourself permission to dream. Believe in unlimited possibilities. So see, there you go also. That goes with your full card. That is new beginnings, new starts. Imagine that it's going to be good, and it will be. Put good thoughts out there just like the gentleness. Put good thoughts out there in the universe. You will get good things back. Imagine good things. And those are the things you don't imagine. Oh my gosh, this is going to be an awful. This is going to be a new start. It's going to be awful. I'm going to fail. What if this happens? What if that happens? Don't imagine what ifs. Put good things out there. Like, I'm going to, I'm going to conquer this. I'm going to make this a great new beginning. So put good things out there. You know, use your imagination and envision a new wonderful reality, not dreading it. Don't go into it dreading it. And just believe that it's, you know, everything's unlimited. You can reach everything you need to. Just like the owl's on top of the world, he's there. He's balancing himself out. Just imagine you can have anything you want. And don't be scared of your new beginning. Jump into it with enthusiasm. And keep that same drive as you're going. That's a great reading for anyone out there. So I do hope someone resonates with this. And this is a great reading for you if you do. If not... I do hope you have a great day. Please take what resonates with you. Have a wonderful weekend and love and light and bless be.